This is the Stony Waves experiment using stretched strings. I have a stretched string here between a vibration generator at this end, which is connected to a signal generator that will uh, allow me to alter the frequency at which the vibration generator oscillates. And at this end, the string is kept taut by being over a pulley with a mass there. What's going to happen here is that the vibration generator going up and down will produce a wave which will travel along the string and it will travel up to the pulley and get reflected. That will give me two waves of the same type with the same frequency and amplitude travelling in opposite directions. They will meet and superpose and at specific frequencies they will form a standing wave uh, along the string. So I'm going to set up um, a wave along the string now travelling from the vibration generator along there. And what we can see at the moment is not a lot that's interesting. The string is oscillating in no particular stable way. Uh, I'm going to increase the frequency now. Uh, so this is about 17 hertz now. It's about 17 hertz. And what you can see is that we started to get a shape formed on the string, where at either end there is zero amplitude, and in the middle we've got maximum amplitude here. So this, this wave is called a standing wave, and this one in particular is the first harmonic or the fundamental. So I just lost, just lost it there, by altering the frequency. So there we go. We have this maximum amplitude, and what you can probably just about see, hopefully, is the string at the uppermost extreme and at the lowermost extreme. You can see it there because it's uh, just changing direction in those places. And in the middle it's moving too fast to see. Uh, so this place where we have maximum amplitude we call an antinode. And these two positions at either end where there's zero amplitude, zero displacement, all the time we call those nodes. I'm now going to continue to increase the frequency. And as I do so, you'll see that, that wave shape break down. And we, as of yet, do not have another uh, stable wave to replace it yet. I'm going to continue to increase the frequency. And as I get to double the frequency I had before, so before I had about 17 hertz, that first, that fundamental was formed on, this is 34 hertz. And now I get a new standing wave formed where I have a node in the middle. So I put my finger there and the wave is quite happy. Uh, it continues oscillating in quite the same way. Uh, we have now two anti-nodes, whereas what before we had one, and we have three nodes. And that will happen every time I go up a multiple of the, the first frequency. This is about 34, so when I get to if I can add on another 17 hertz, and if I get to about 51, I get a new standing wave formed. Now, because of the tension in the string, this one will be a little harder to see. And then we have one, two, three anti nodes. One, two, three, four nodes formed. Alright, so that's our next standing wave, that's the third harmonic there. And that's at three times the fundamental frequency, which is three times 17. And I can continue to increase frequency, and every time I go up a multiple of the, uh, the frequency, I should get new standing wave forms, but because of the tension in the string, it will be harder to see those anti-nodes and nodes so clearly. You may well just be able to see an, an antinode trying to form there, and another one along here. So those are stretch waves, uh, um, standing waves on stretch strings. There we go, so that's uh, one, two, three, four antinodes, one, two, three, four, five nodes formed.